Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about what is called the second derivative test. This is a test that allows us to use information about the second derivative to find local extrema for our function. So suppose we know that f prime of c equals zero and that f double prime is continuous over some interval containing that c. So essentially, we have a critical point of the first derivative that is equal to zero, and we know that the second derivative is continuous around that interval. Then one of three things can be true. If we plug that critical value into the second derivative and we get a positive value, then f has a local minimum there. Well, let's sort of analyze that. If f prime of c is equal to zero, then we know we have either the top of a hill or the bottom of a valley. If we add in the information that f double prime of c, or the second derivative, is positive, we know that we're concave up. So the only way to draw concave up and get either the top of a hill or the bottom of a valley is to get the bottom of a valley. So of course, that gives us a minimum. If we reverse that, still have to have the top of a hill or the bottom of a valley, and f double prime of c is less than zero or negative, we must be concave down, and therefore f has a local maximum there. Now, if we have that same f prime of c equals zero, and we plug that value into the second derivative, and we also get zero, then the second derivative test is inconclusive. That doesn't mean we don't have a minimum or a maximum, it just means that we can't use the second derivative test to tell what happens. Okay, so let's see this in action. Here, let's use the second derivative test to find out whether f has a local minimum, a local maximum, or neither at x equals pi over six. So, if f of x is equal to root 3x minus 2 sine of x, the first thing we need to see is, is the first derivative equal to 0 when x equals pi over 6? So first of all, let's find that first derivative. So the derivative for root 3x is root 3 minus 2 times our derivative for sine x is cosine x. So evaluating that at pi over six, that will be root three minus two times. The cosine at pi over six is root three over two. So that becomes root three minus root three or zero. So because the first derivative evaluated at pi over six is zero, we have a candidate at pi over six for a local minimum or a local maximum. So now we need to find the second derivative and see if it evaluates as positive or negative at that point. Okay, so for our second derivative, derivative of root three is zero. So we'll bring that minus two times. The derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. So overall we have a positive two sine x. Now evaluating that at pi over six, we get two times the sine of pi over six is one half, and two times one half is one. One is certainly greater than zero or positive, so that would mean that f is concave up there. So concave up, I always have to draw it, that tells me I'm going to have a minimum. So we can conclude that since f prime at pi over six equals zero, and f double prime at pi over six equals one, which is greater than zero, f has a local minimum at x equals pi over six. All right, guys, that does it for this video on the second derivative test. We'll see you in a future one.